All right, so now we're going to look at <coughs> uh, adding modules and module sections to your Etude site. So uh, click on Modules. And when you first get your site, you won't have any modules or sections in it. So it will look like this. So what you want to do is you have to, um, to add sections, you have to have a module. Modules, <coughs> it's kind of a hierarchy of modules at the top. Um, and then mo modules can contain uh, any number of sections and subsections within them. So, um, for instance, a common way of organizing is uh, by week. So you might have a module for every week that you have your class, and then within each week, within each one of those modules, you'll have the um, content that you want to present to your students. Uh, divided into <coughs> however many sections that you think is appropriate. So let's start out by adding our module. So just click Add Module here at the top. You give your module a title. So we're going to call ours Week 1. And then um, th this is optional. Um, a description, uh, overview, or objectives whatever you want to put in here. This is just going to be a very short, basic summary of um, what is in this module. So don't make this lengthy. You can't uh, format this in any way. It's just plain text. So um, it's a very brief description. And then moving down, um, you'll put keywords. These uh, will eventually be searchable. And then further down, you can um, optionally, again, this isn't required, but if you want to have a start date and an end date for your module, that you could set that here. And so whatever dates you put in here will be when your module will be available to your students. Beyond these dates, then it will be closed to your students. So you could just click the little pop-up date picker to choose a date and time. Show you what that looks like. So here's your little date picker. You want to start out by choosing the time. So let's say you open it at 6 a.m and then you just click the date that that module becomes available and the date gets pasted in there. Same with the end date, you would just click it, click on the date picker. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that so, so we can see what that looks like. And I failed to put a time in, so I'll type that in. And then um, you can, if you want to, put the start and end dates uh, in your schedule. This will automatically place it in your schedule if you're using the schedule tool. So let's click Add now. We can go back and see what that looks like. Um, at this point, too, it lets you go uh, just continue and add a content section if you want to to that module. But for now, let's take a look and see what that looks like on the home page as the student or the modules home page. So because I clicked view, I'm seeing this as the student would see it basically, except I can actually uh, go in and look at the description here of the module if I want to. Um, but students wouldn't be able to click on it because this date is in the future. Okay, But if I want to see what that would look like once the students are able to access that, this is what they see. This is that description I typed in. And then right now there are no sections. So those aren't, you know, there's nothing below the, uh, what it says here, the content sections of this module are as follows. Well, there are none yet. So let's go back to authoring. So now we have our week one module. So I can click on that and add content to it. 
So I check the week that I want to add content to and I click Add Content. So it's going to open up with the content section here and you can give it, well you have to give it a title. So um, really creative uh, and then instructions this is optional um, I'm going to leave that blank and then below this um, the modality you need to select something here um, usually it, your uh, content c contains text so that's automatically checked if you have visual content also maybe you're putting a picture in there then you'll want to check that and auditory content if you have any sound files that you're adding to this then you'll want to check that box and then you have options of how you want to add content so this content type you can compose content with the editor right on the web right in your browser you can upload um, a file or link to a file or you can link to a um, website, a URL. So uh, we're going to choose co uh, Compose Content with Editor. So give it a minute there. Okay. Now if we scroll down, we can see that editor. And so this is where you can go ahead and type your text. Well, let's. Okay, and then um, you can format this however you want. So maybe this you want to make a heading, and then this you want to, um, oh, I don't know. Let's uh, change the text color. So you can see you can do all kinds of things. You can add. Um, a picture not sure what kind of picture I have let's see so let me back up um, when with this particular editor, this is the FCK editor, um, when you click uh, insert image this is what you'll see uh, and you'll need to if you're uploading from your computer you click a server and then you'll need to get this in the view here so then you'll you'll have this box um, down below and you'll want to click browse again so this is going to give you this familiar looking uh, this computer doesn't have any images um, let's see it's really big That's the only image I have, so that's going to have to do. And then, um, once you've clicked on your image, then you click the Upload button over here. And it shows your image it has now been uploaded. And then you just click on that. And then there's your picture. Uh, you can look at it, make sure it's the right picture. You can... Um, if you know about adding borders, H space, V space, um, and alignment, then you can change those things. Otherwise, it's going to take the default. It shows you over here too. So um, H space is horizontal space. So if you put 20 in there, you notice now there's um, more space here. 
horizontally next to your picture. So those are some things you can play around with as well as alignment. Maybe you want your picture on the right of your text so you could do that. Um, and then one thing for sure you want to do before you click OK is you'll put um, you need to put alternative text in here so that way if somebody has their picture turned off or they're using um, a screen reader they can't see the picture in either of those cases so they'll have to have the text here to tell them what that picture is all about so put a short description that um, gives them an idea of what the picture is so and then click OK and that image is now since I put it on the right, I have to scroll. So there's your image. Um, and that's all there is to inserting images. Now um, another thing here I want to show is um, how to put a link. So to add links to your um, content, you just type the text that you want to become the link. So let's say we're, we're making a link to Google. So we type the word Google, then we highlight it, then we click on the insert link, and then we're going to type in the URL, or we can paste it if we wanted to. So notice you don't need to type HTTP because it's already over here. Um, and then if you want your um, this when people click on it if you want it to open in a new window you go to target and then you change this to new window and we're ready that's done we click OK so now you can't test it here but once we save this and go back to view um, we can test all of this so let's go down to the bottom and look at some of the options here um, you um, you have options for copyright status so how do you want to uh, define the copyright for this uh, section okay you can make it public domain creative commons any of these okay so let's say we want to choose uh, creative commons you get options with creative commons licensing um, so I'm going to accept the defaults here license holder is me license year is 2011 and then I just click done okay so now I want to look at this um, as the student would so I'm going to click view so here's my module week one here's my section I just added again it's not open to the students and I know this because this is in italics but because you're the instructor it lets you take a look at it so you can make sure it's working right so let's click on it okay so there it is and this should open a new window there it is so that's it I can go back it actually I have tabs showing you can see them here now that's the page it opened so that's it